Okay, welcome back. It is time for your health check. You know, in summer, we talk a lot about skin and for good reason. Summer is all about sunshine, pool days, barbecues, concerts, festivals. But the cocktail of UV rays, heat, humidity, and sweat can mean clogged pores, acne, and a lot of other skin problems. There's multiple factors that's going to make our skin um, unhappy in the summer. Board-certified dermatologist Masa Karavan with U.S. Dermatology Partners in Plano recommends three main moves for your skin this summer. First, always wash off sweat and chlorine from your face and body to remove oil and dirt. Can reduce oil production, um, reduce the amount of bacteria and yeast that live on the skin. Next, properly cleanse your face twice daily with warm water, but be careful not to scrub too hard. Constant scrubbing over time can lead to loose skin and wrinkles. What you wash with can make a difference as well. Um, you can use active ingredients in your cleansers, such as salicylic acid. Uh, we call that a beta hydroxy acid, which um, shrinks your pores, cleans out. It's, it's like an amazing little vacuum cleaner for your pores. Finally, less is more. Moisturize, apply sunscreen daily, and see a dermatologist for seasonal acne flare-ups. Irritation leads to inflammation, which leads to more acne. If you have acne-prone skin, if you have rosacea, which creates very inflammatory type of acne, the simpler you keep your regimen, the better. Okay, so yeah, no 20-step skincare process that you see on Instagram or TikTok. Dr. Caravan emphasized how much hydration also helps your skin. She says when your skin is dehydrated, it will actually produce more oil because it's stressed out. Mm. So just another reason to punctuate hydration on top of all the other reasons we've given you. Well, yeah. and I used to get some coloration in my cheeks from too much sun exposure, not a sunburn or a suntan, but again, another reason why you got to wear that stuff and just kind of watch out when you're outdoors. Oh. Yeah, as you get older, like not you specifically, but all of us, all of us. You, yes. can get, you can get the, um, I can't think of the word now, please, the brown spots, the age spots. Mm. Uh, melasma. Melasma, thank you. Yeah. Okay, gosh. That's a big thing down here, especially because of all the sun exposure, the UV ray exposure, so. Yes, as we get older, Greg, things start to happen. We got to pay better attention, closer <laughs> attention 